Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Scuba Talk. My name is Scuba Dave and today we're going to talk about if your mask is fogging up, how can we stop it from fogging up? We'll be right back with Scuba Dave. Okay, so there are several things that, that people have been asking me, questions, um, you know, Scuba Dave, my, my mask is always fogging up, how can I stop it from fogging up? Well, they go out and they buy a new mask. It doesn't matter if your mask is $10 or your mask is $200, it doesn't matter. What, what happens is, is in a mask, okay, the manufacturer takes and puts light coating film on the inside of the mask, and that's to protect it so it doesn't get all damaged up when they're manufacturing that, putting the mask together, and then when it's being shipped to the uh, retail place of where you're gonna purchase your mask from, okay? So we gotta get that coating off. And I've heard all kind of stories. I've heard all kind of things that people do, okay? I've heard of people taking their lighter and they burn it off, okay? I guess you can do that, but you really wanna be careful because if you heat up the silicone around it, you can damage it, your mask's gonna leak, okay? Um, I've heard a guy take a, a butane torch and do the same thing, okay, heat it up. Again, you're putting fire you know, next to your silicone, it's gonna damage it, okay? So I don't recommend that, okay? There's several things um, that you can do. Um, I know people use toothpaste, okay? Because it has some grit in there, and you take some toothpaste, you put a little bit in each lens, and you sit and scrub it, Okay, work, work it around really good. Okay, and then once you've scrubbed it really good, okay, rinse it off real good, and you're ready to go dive. When you go dive, I use sea drops. Put one drop in each side of the mask, I'm good to go. Okay, um, but scrubbing it with toothpaste, sometimes you don't get it all, or you don't scrub long enough. Um, I told one person if they use toothbrush, if you're going to sit down and watch a comedy show on TV, a half hour comedy show, every time a commercial comes on, scrub it for the length of that commercial. Some people will say, yeah, you're scrubbing it too long. Okay, I get it. Um, but the thing of it is, is you want to make sure you get all that film off so it doesn't fog up on you. That's the bottom line. So what I started using is Comet. You can use Ajax, you can use whatever, but the abrasive on it really gets it in and it cleans the mask. And you don't have to sit there all day long, okay, to clean the mask. It doesn't matter what type of mask you have, whether it's dual lens, single lens, it doesn't matter. It's all the same, okay? So what I always like to do, is I've, got a, I've got a bowl of water here, is I put just a little bit of water, just a little bit of water in there, okay? And I put a little bit of my commenter Ajax. I don't need a whole lot, okay? And then you're just going to take your hands and just work it around. Oop, I'm making a mess, okay? And you just work it around, okay? When you're all done, you want to rinse your mask out, okay? And then, when you get ready to go to the dive site, with your mask still dry, that's the key. The mat lens, don't wet the lens first. Let the lens be dry. Take your sea gold or whatever you use, okay? There's different manufacturers out there, okay? And just put one drop, that's all. I use one drop on each side, okay? Take your finger, work it around, Get it all over, okay? And yes, you can even put some on the outside of the lens too if you want, okay? So once you've done that, and you finish gearing up, once you get out in the water, in the ocean, take your mask, take it. Don't completely, like, stick your hands in there like you're going to wipe it off, okay? Just take it, dip it under the water, shake it a few times, dump it out, and it's ready to go on your face and you're ready to go, okay? 
So that's this week's uh, Scuba Talk with Scuba Dave. I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Sure do appreciate it. If you have any comments, please let us know. Um, you can get a hold of me at scubaday94 at gmail.com. Have fun, be safe, and keep diving. We'll catch you next time.